I feel like I'm low. I'm glad I took a shower. And Welcome my to another episode of the Bastard Sermon. I'm one of your three hosts, Cody Hucker, Luke Young, Lloyd Johnson, and this week we have on Andrew Yankowski from Nithing and Jason Staley from the Super Satan Show. Everyone, give it the fuck yeah. up! Yeah, fuck yeah! Hey, buddy, good to see you, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, oh, yeah. Lloyd, talk real quick. He said his mic was low. Talk. Yeah, it sounded a little, a little lower than normal. All right, all right. I bumped you up. You're good now. What the fuck's going on, fellas? Hey, it's good guys. to see you. No, it's great to see you guys. Thank you too. Great we, to see you guys. We had a great last to see you minute. Again. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? We had a last minute cancel. Awkward, Lloyd. Don't mind him. Oh, okay. He's autistic. Uh, okay. We had a last minute con- cancellation, and you guys were nice enough to fill in. I asked Andrew, and uh, I, I was like, wait, hold on, uh, metal people. I haven't talked to fucking Jason in a while. I was like, let's fucking get this dude back on. Let's make it a fucking, you know, a little DP situation. <coughs> Why not? A little Love double it. penetration. Uh, you, before we started the show, you brought up something that we have to immediately talk about. What the fuck? Are you, what is Russian? What Russian, Russian stand-up okay, hard right. base? No, no. Uh, so, okay, I've been listening to uh, some... Uh, a lot of weird shit at work. You? Fuck yeah. yeah. Seems off-brain. It's true. It's true. <laughs> no um, but I, there's this stuff out there called Russian hard bass. I love it already. Okay. And uh, literally, Ooh. it's like it's like oh. it's like techno. I thought everybody's blowing Russia stuff. Right yeah, now. we are. Everybody, okay. everybody's right. on. You know. But um, I don't know. I, I fucking I don't know. I like it. It's what's, different. What's the difference between like techno house music and Russian hard bass? Uh. Like a lot of tracksuits? Yeah, tracksuits. All these dudes are wearing tracksuits. Oh, okay. They're called... There's like a whole subculture over there that just fucking... Exclusively do, wear Adidas tracksuits. Yeah, suits. they're called... They're called Gopniks. <laughs> Does it, is this it's, guy a good face? Yes, of... that's it. Yes. That, yes. Yes, yes. Play what, some of that. Can we play this? Yeah, go for it. Go All for right. It. I haven't adjusted the sound. DJ Biotman. Yeah. This is not you know Russian hard bass. This is an advertisement. That's an advertisement. Commercial. All right, let's go. What is this? It's got the G.I. Joe's on This is it. This is DJ Biotman. This is, this is real shit Got right me. here, guys. Check this out. I'm checking it the fuck out. <laughs> just eat six And I just like the fact that it, everything, that, you know, it's got a beat to it, right? And then every, they're, like, playing a bunch of PVC fucking pipes. Yeah. So if you, like, listen to let it, let it roll a little more, you can kind of hear it a little there. Oh, absolutely. That's... <laughs> You yeah. making me want to kill some Ukrainians, baby. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> this guy, by the way, for the audio listeners, he's fat as fuck. Get on the YouTube. If yeah. You're on the YouTube, you're fucking yeah. up. But he's fat as fuck. He's got his shirt off. Can he's you imagine in the middle getting of the... shot to death in Ukraine by this guy? <laughs> 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 How fucking much that would suck. Right. This guy, DJ Blotman, just starts fucking. And then, like. Just 20 yeah. people the last dead. thing you, you know, see on this world is like his belly jiggling as right. he's like holding the right. And, and, and you a, know he doesn't have Fruity Loops. He's literally playing this on PVC pipe. Right. Like he probably no fucking... yeah. No, it's like it's it's some like autistic little brother that he's got in a fucking in, that sleeps in a closet. Well, it's right here. Doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, shout out. It's shout it's out handy. Wood. It's handy capable. <laughs> Not handy, handicap. Okay, it's handy yes. capable. Let's yes. keep going. My deck's hard. Let's go. I see why it's got a hard base. This dude is eating all day. He's just rolling down the street. He ain't got a job. This what is, is his job. He's like, I don't even know what's going on right now in Russian. My job's the party. He yes. has a Russian twisted tea also, right? Yeah. That's what that I think they're like. probably making their own shit right now. That's piss. Yeah, it's piss. Yeah. I want to do coke and dance to this naked. Right? I'll turn the cameras off. <laughs> <laughs> for all you, all you, for all you Patreon subscribers, keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. It'll happen. This is what you've been fucking with, super hardcore though. I've just been listening to. It's not like I. Pull, I'm not mad at it. No, I, I'm, yeah, just, I'm not it's mad just, at it either. Are you familiar with I, I Little was, Big? Little Big, no. Little Big is in the same vein of this. It's like weird <clears throat> house music where they're just doing like. The first song that I heard was Ray Vaughn. It was super well produced, and it was it was just like weird Russian people. Like they all look like Russian carnies that are right. coming out. Yeah. They're doing like their bodies are I, all weirdly. I fucking loved. Them. You like Little Big? Oh, dude, dude, the Taco one is my. I, yeah, I watch it probably once a week. Little nice. Big rules, dude. There's I gotta pull up a video of his real quick. Yeah, let's somebody yeah. talk over it, but uh, keep no, going. I, so I, I I love like a weird absurdist shit. Yeah, like anything. You know, like Kurt Vonnegut's my favorite fucking author. For, okay. Uh, you know, a lot of I, I like anything that's <clears throat> way out of like something that shouldn't have been made. Basically, right, like right, uh, right. I, I made them watch my favorite movie, and what is it's called the Greasy Strangler? No, I've never heard of it. So no one has, but it's it's, so good. it's, it's pure. It's, the worst movie ever. it's so good. It's it's one of those things that it never should have been made, but it was made, right, and it right. was made very well. 
Hmm. Like someone put real <laughs> money into it. Like uh, El Topo or uh, did you ever see El Topo? No, I know I know of it. I don't. I don't okay, I've never actually like watched it. weird, very <clears throat> weird cinematic. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's surrealistic almost in a way. Perhaps. Well, like the the vibe of it isn't that. It's just the story itself and the the way the the dialogue and interactions go. It's just very absurd and strange. Cool. So it's not as much on the visual side. Like it's more just. A very strange What it is. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. You guys want to fuck with this? Let's hear this. Let's go. Let's fucking go. This is a this is a decent one. I, I couldn't find the one that Lloyd was talking about. It's just called Tacos. Is it called Tacos? All right. All right. <laughs> what? What? I've seen this dude. Yes. I know who this dude is. Yeah. 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 The taco one, I think it's a, there's also like a Russian chef in the video with him. Yeah. It's a fat guy. looks like a baby action Bronson. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. <laughs> Little big taco. It's called tacos? Yeah. All right. Didn't all he right, do right. the one about his, dip, his dick being so big? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So this... this 132 million views. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. fucking... We are fucking up. They're tremendously huge, so dude. All their I, shit is exactly From like, what someone told me, that's a chef in Russia that's... I believe it. And right. they're just friends with him? Yeah. So they just put him in the video because it was about food? And then they have, like, a whole group of, like, fans and friends that make costumes and outfits for them. Wow. So everything in this video is, like, people helped them make or put together. They, like, didn't spend a ton of money. It was a lot of, like, home DIY, done. DIY yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. like, home, home done, like, fan stuff. Huh. No, that's awesome. But, like, there's actually, like, a whole outfit he's wearing that's made out of noodles. Let's watch it. Find out. I like that the whole color scheme of this kitchen, too, is ketchup and mustard colors. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It hurts my eyes. Everything is bizarre. Hold on, let's yeah, yeah, let's just fuck with it. We gotta talk over it too, otherwise we'll get fucking taken off of right. YouTube. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's, it's already, already over. Wow. Yeah, dude. It's, wow. it's already, it's already taken down. It's I'm gonna have to done. set this up. Wow. But every every time they uh Luke, cut anything, one, it you screams. Got, you got one of those yeah. rooms, don't you? Hey, I have three yeah. of them. Okay, I thought so. Is that a this chef is really... or is that James Corden the It's close enough. Wow, okay. This is made out of cereal bags. Wow. The outfit the guy is wearing in the video is made out of little cereal bags. Why are we doing this? What? How come we don't have clothes with food prepackaged inside? And we're just them? wearing them without addressing it on our podcast yeah, why not? all the yeah. time. Just, just, yeah, it'd just be a thing. Sick it'd be like, dude, I want some fucking Reese, and you just tear open your Does vest, have and it's a just a chest piece of a grizzly bear snarling at you. No, yeah, we can't pull that off. That's, <laughs> that is that a off. really I'm that, I'm not detailed that grizzly bear. Yeah, you know what? My tat- my chest isn't tattooed yet, so I mean. Well, well, there you go. I have any I mean, tattoos. I'm not that confident. Yeah. I'm just saying, we still got time. We can, we can figure it out. <laughs> we can out. make this happen. Yeah, we, we got a prison tattoo. I, mean, right? I don't have a yeah. t- chest tattoo either. <laughs> we so. can get weird with I it. I want a belly yeah, tattoo. I've got I've got one over my heart. I want a whole belly tattoo. What's it going to say? A, what's get, the one over your heart? My penis? It's a yeah. full metal alchemist or a Boris. Same dude. difference. Yeah, same difference. Yeah, same difference. That's what my penis Cody's is. Penis. penis eats itself. It's it just keeps wrapping around itself. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> Making it smaller by the day. That's, that's weird. Girl, you like little dicks because mine happens keeps when you getting don't get smaller. circumcised. <laughs> I'm, I'm too circumcised. If you don't circumcise, <laughs> extra dick, circumcised. It will or a Boris. Actually, the only joke that I ever told my really conservative fucking grandfather that's like in his 90s that he ever liked was like, I think uh, I had a uh, uh, one of my uh, uh, cousins or whatever had a kid and that kid had a botch circumcision and almost lost her dick and i was like oh that's fucked up grandpa i i have a botch circumcision he's like what no you don't and i was like yeah they're missing about three inches <laughs> he was like <laughs> 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 like just like the last bit of like dust and wind in his lungs like he almost oh, had a I heart attack say the last it, essence of life and then, then, just just died died right yeah. and then he died right there shell. did anyone else the notice how excited body. cody like how happy and excited his face was while telling me like someone in my family was proud of me one time <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what it felt <laughs> <laughs> that's what energy was coming off wow. me like yeah hey, it was someone it was the greatest day ever one of my family we members acknowledged me like out loud. And then we went. And then we went and got ice cream. <laughs> no, have I no, have I didn't. addressed on the show no, or didn't. to y'all how like your grandpa scares me, Loki? Wait, why? How he many times does. have you met grandpa? I've met him like five times. Why does and he scare still you? Scared. He gives me like you ever play Tomb Raider one? <laughs> yeah. He has triangle titties. No, you know, you, you ever play Tomb Raider one? No. no? Yeah. Okay, so in the after you do the first level in, in the tutorial area, you're in Laura Croft's <laughs> mansion. And while you're walking around, she has this old butler 
that slowly follows her around oh, I know what you're everywhere talking about. he goes. You can lock him in the freezer, you, too? Yeah, you can lock him in the freezer, because it's the only way to get rid of him. That's what, I did to him. Shit. That's what I did to him when we podcasted at my house. I you locked, locked him. <laughs> yeah, I locked him in the... Well, I don't have a walk-in freezer. I've got a deer meat freezer, so I just tricked him in the... One of your, one of your Lunchables is in there, Grandpa, Dude, and I you, kicked him in there. Yeah, he was actually nice. dead for three and a half years, and then he pulled him out of there, and he actually just started walking around. <laughs> yeah, I went, he went and weekend up and like, That was the best nap I've had in my life. Yeah, man. it was straight in Tino, man. Yeah. I don't remember why I came over to your house recently in the last month or two. But I did, and I was I was sitting in the basement. You were either taking a no, shit. No, we were going to go do Late you, Start Podcast, and then you came that's over. That's right, and you went to go take a shit or something in the other room. And right. Grandpa was calling for you because of his new phone that he couldn't figure out. Oh, it was so funny. He and was he just, was like, we got before him a shitty you way. answered, before you could hear him, though, because, like you said, he's he's so old. He's up there. Yeah. I had to call he's, the house because like, I thought he was going to come downstairs and interrupt hey, you. Dude, was, and I was like, I know that was Lloyd, my biggest fear. I know, I know Luke was going to be stuck, just scared with my like. I, dude, he's so taking like, a dump. I, like, I heard him go, <clears throat> Cody, Cody. <laughs> he, no, this is how he does every time, and it drives Cody. me fucking Cody, Cody. Cody, but it's it's not loud like that. There's not enough bass in his voice like that. It's like a, he like can't a speak ghost. up and it's infuriating. It I try like to get him to speak. Whistling like through the hallways. Yes. Or, yeah. So like I'm sitting in this chair so in his <laughs> bedroom and I'm looking out into the hallway, but the hallway immediately cuts to black because there's no <laughs> lights on in the entire basement but the room, and I'm just I keep hearing Cody. God, I just I was waiting for this dude to come downstairs and whittle around the corner, floating, yeah, floating and shaking, <laughs> yeah, with just a bed with a white bed sheet on, you can see his dick. Luke, just, just Cody, the tip, though. when he's not just, talking, yeah. the the lips of his penis are talking. Cody, Luke was so high he thought it was Kobe Bryant's ghost. Like Kobe, Kobe. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe, stay dead! <laughs> Kobe, get away from me! Kobe, Kobe! <laughs> On the topic of old men and cell phones, though, I had to get a new phone back like around Labor Day. And I'm in the Verizon store, and this old man comes in, and he's got a flip phone, and he goes up to the guy who's like, you know. Right take, up to the mic, right up to the mic. Oh, sorry, sorry. This old guy comes in with a flip phone, and he's like, how do I answer calls on this thing? And he opens it up, and the guy's just like, you just gotta hit the green button, man. I was like, oh. That's so Ooh. relatable. Oh, wow. right. and I, was like, I wish I had this technology still because, like, fuck smartphones. But also, don't... Well, no, 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 because but... once you get to a certain age, you can't figure dick out because he... The problem with him, the reason we got him this new phone... We got him a shittier phone because he fucking... All he does is bitch and complain about everything, which... I get it. He lives with me. He lived long enough to he's do it. He's a caveman living in the future. About everything. I mean, he's 92 in two months. They yeah. got him an iPhone. He can't figure it out because of fucking course he can't. And all he did was bitch about it. I like my fucking flip phone. I like my flip phone. I like my... You guys got rid of it. So my mom was I like, I like torches what's... and bows and arrows. Exactly. So like, what's the like most... Like horses' carriages. <laughs> yeah. What's the? What's a flip phone? It's got racist internet on it that he likes and whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's got you get, only you get, Alex Jones and Fox News on it. You get Parler. You can subscribe to Parler on it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Something great. <laughs> Really Give me one into. of them jitterbugs what comes with the parlor already <laughs> yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, get a life alert option on there, too. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it comes with the fucking... Yeah, right. Nah, yeah, we, we got him a nice wallpaper with a rebel flag on it, the Sweet. way Grandpa likes, yeah, and then yeah. fucking... All he did was... Bit, he's like, I can't fit... There's too many buttons on it. I was like, there's 16 buttons on them, and half of them are numbers. The other ones are volume up and down and answer and hang up. He's like, how do I know which one to answer the phone? Which? And I'm like, well, it's only the same buttons that it's ever been for the entire time that phones have existed the green one answers and the red one fucking hangs up okay. you know well, how it works on your house had, phone he probably had rotary like. phones yeah too, wait wait point. wait sure, yeah, i was but, gonna say but for um, at least 55 fucking years of uh, button phone technology this motherfucker has been able to and he uses the house phone so i don't buy that he doesn't know what the green one does and the red one doesn't he just wants something to bitch about which yeah. i get but just say that just say i just want to bitch about something but he's acting like he can't figure it out and then like the truck doesn't start the other day and he's out there with a fucking battery kit and he's working on it he's got a fucking wrench and he's wrenching it apart and he's uh, he's hooked it up to a starter and he's i'm like how'd you do all that how'd you not oh you're you're too old to <laughs> you fucking can't figure out how to push a Goddamn green button. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Fucking asshole. You know, I told <laughs> him. Let's me live there for free. What a dick. Dude, you does nothing but support me. What an asshole. He oh was my God. a prick. Let's he go was, kick his ass. Dude, old, he was probably around when, like, <laughs> cell phones and telegraphs were fucking made. He was telegraphs. Pro- like, he, he's, he, he's still mad his old carrier pigeon died, like, fucking 80 <laughs> years ago, man. The only thing that he can relate to still is when my son, like, he loves uh, hanging out with my kids and shit like that, but my son goes and watch Mickey Mouse in his room, and he's like, Mickey Mouse is how I learned how 
how to read. I was like, what the fuck? He was like, they used to have Mickey Mouse books with the ABCs. And yeah. I, that's how I learned how to read because there was a, a guy that came through on a carriage and a horse. I swear to fucking God. Car- they, had, they had cars, but he grew up in rural middle of butt fucking Kentucky nowhere. Right. So they, horses and carriages. We got word like from that. town once yeah. every three months. They yeah, he came through like now. Django Unchained style, like the dude with the dentist. Yeah. With the big, <laughs> the big fucking tooth spring on top. Tooth, yeah. yeah, but it's a spring book and oh, they've got kids a- books on it and he buys it for, you know, one heavy coin and then fucking gets to take that. That was a whole half penny. <laughs> <laughs> and he just never shuts the fuck up about how expensive everything is now. He's like, you know how much a, a haircut and a blowjob and a movie and fucking, uh, we got the kill a black guy was back in fucking, <laughs> like, back in my day and I was like, a quarter. And now like, he buys a gun ball with cents. that. It was a 15 <laughs> yeah. cent piece. Y'all don't even have 15 cent pieces. And I was like. I, rem- I remember when it was a quarter. It was a quarter when I was a kid. So, you know. <laughs> I grew up in Alabama. Most people didn't even know what quarters were. Right. <laughs> Quarter? Ain't fancy. What are y'all rich? No, nah, man. <laughs> we, we only sell ounces here, dude. I, I give know. you three. I give you three years of sweet corn, two zucchini, and a squat. <laughs> we do trade around these parts. <laughs> Oh, fuck. No, but it's very relatable because it was just like, yeah, f- fuck out of here. You don't know how it fucking works. I understand you got dementia and your life's falling apart, but it, not his, not the case for him. His life's he just, not falling apart. He doesn't, it's just been around way too no, long. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's yeah. a caveman living in the future. He doesn't mm. want to learn it either, and he's it drives like, me crazy. He's like, what is the social because, security because number? Like, I'm, I'm going to die soon, right. all right? I don't care anymore. See, he just needs Polly Shore to teach him how to wheeze the juice and all the other <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, you, I, you say that like it's a joke, but it's not. Have yeah. you paid attention to this man's show at all? Who? Polly Shores. So I stopped a long time ago, but I... I Polly Shore has a show? He's got a podcast. What's it called? The Polly Shore Podcast. <laughs> of course that's what it's <laughs> called. Duh. And okay. so, uh, this right in his mom's it. corpse, right into the grave. I listened to it in the earlier episodes, and in my opinion, it was peak, because it was when he was, like, at his most depressed... And, and like drinking heavily because nice. he would just sit around in his uh, duplex uh, in Silver Lake and he and his podcast was him talking into his iPhone bitching about like how cool the 90s were and like uh, just say what you got to say because everyone's distracted. We're all distracted. No, keep talking. The doing? podcast. He's drunk. He's he's sad. So um, all all relatable he, things to me right now. Go. He would just talk into his uh, iPhone about like how shitty things are now. Like it's not like the nineties. <laughs> he's not like getting called out to do movies or like host MTV anymore. Can't fuck seventeen year olds in the fucking then. MTV beach house. Yeah. Like, but and then, then and then not getting any trouble because it was technically outside of the country, so it wasn't illegal <laughs> for him to bang children. Then but and so like he. he he, and wheeze the juice. Yeah, that's what wheezing the. Juice but he was wheezing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right? That was wheezing the juice box. Yeah, though, like, the juice, but wheezing the juice box. That juice, like that. That. wheezing that's the juice box yeah. means fuck. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. so he, uh, I think it was around uh, his mom's death that he started like adopting these old people that he yeah. would find at coffee stores. <laughs> his his podcast now, like it, it'll start off with him singing a song. It's like a new song all the time with this these old people and it's a bunch of old strangers that he's met at the coffee stores or on the streets of Silver Lake in California. The oldest shit women, oldest shit dudes. Like there's this old guy named uh can his name's video, Greg. Can we get like video of this up? Yeah. I'm yeah. very and I'm Paul very Shore's curious. Bands. I thought you were about to say hard. <laughs> What? I thought you were about to say hard. You're like, I'm very, I'm very. Oh, yeah. I'm hard. very hard, too. But that's just for my geriatric fetish, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, mm, that fucking smell of a crinkled diaper. Mm. Oh, Keep yeah. telling us, though, Luke. Yeah, the, the Poly Shore band. So now uh, he's, like, out of his depression. He, st- he doesn't talk about how cool the 90s were as much anymore. But, yeah, like, old man, Neil young. That's, that's a perfect example right there. You see him in the background. The guy on guitar is the old man that's been on his uh, his like uh, show the longest though. He he legitimately met that dude at a Starbucks. Wow. Keep talking. I will pull it up in one second. Uh, we- you guys should just spring for fucking premium, dude. Well, we- <laughs> no, dude, no, no. You don't pay for YouTube Red, and you don't buy iPhone tens and up because they're over a thousand. They're, they're, okay, so YouTube Red's oh, three bucks, up. right? Oh, I've, I've touched YouTube- the nerve. Yes, it's you up. did. Sorry. Yes, you did. Also, we've only got sorry, we've sorry. only got one decent backdrop money. The rest oh, of these oh, are no. bed sheets. You think we got YouTube premium money? Yeah, yeah I was gonna say. What kind of you podcast know, you think this is, Jason? Bed sheet with bricks printed on it. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, this really is real. Sheet. I've laid this myself. Oh shit, my bad. Oh. My bad. Brick by brick Didn't, by my brick. My dad's yeah. amazing. Brick yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's that's some tight. He that's rolled good. it up, put it up his ass, and shit it back out. He laid it. We got the video up though. So these see this shit. Okay. 
Right, wow, right. Paulie's looking rough. We gotta talk over he's it. Looking, I don't he's get looking. He's looking off nearly YouTube. sixty. Wow. He, <laughs> yeah, he looks. He's, like, he's looking. He looks rough. his age. Yeah. Yes. All right. Of course, he's All just right. got like the this? fucking props so this from is, son-in-law. This is Paulie Shore covering old right. man. And he nice. just brings old with a, people with a into it. These aren't men. just rand. The, well, they are, but they're like now the old his people friends. House band? Yeah, yeah, these are the, the old people house band. These nice. are the strange people he's met around. Why does he Silver just have Lake? a fucking ladder? It's his garage. It's so yeah. he can put his leg up on it. Obviously, at, he so needs can, that power stance. Perhaps, perhaps that that the shorts right. will open up enough. We can power stance is key. It's power stance. And he's got Speedway Steven here doing fucking production for him. What the fuck? I mean, it's this is insane to me. He's got how many views he got going on? I mean, 7,000. Yeah. We're, we're f fucking two weeks away from 7,000 views on our <laughs> YouTube channel. <laughs> Pauly Shore, his mother ran the comedy store for yeah. fucking 50 years. What the fuck is happening? Dude, he's got American Eagle flip-flops, leopard go. shorts, and a button-up shirt, long sleeve. And a oh, leftover God. prop from son-in-law, cowboy right, hat. Right, yeah. Also, though... I'm like, pretty this, sure this it is... wouldn't be that hard to find musicians out in California. Yeah, right, we've had enough of this. Yeah. Video. Listen, you can either pay musicians like that are talented. Out, you can either pay real talented musicians in California. We're gonna charge you an arm and a leg, even if they're shitty, because right. they're, they're they're musicians yeah. out in California trying to make it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or you can pay a couple of bums that think you're the shit. Or because just, they seen you on TV once, right? Three years or just ago. build yeah. meaningful relationships. See, I did the same. Like, I have seven grandpas now, and they're my backing Listen, band. I yeah, think, they, I think we're, we're going on tour. Would you not want to do that? Be yeah. like, hey, grandpas, you want to go on tour? They're like, uh, guess I'll dip into my pension. And you're like, what's that? They're like, think of the past. <laughs> oh, it's a thing that uh, people used to get. Yeah, back I remember. When, I remember back when we cared about each other. Before we I heard ran about, this, I heard country about that. I heard about that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, yeah, it was all gone before I was alive. Thanks, Reagan. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if it's his fault, but I'll blame him. Let's blame I mean, Reagan. Probably. Sure, why not? He's why not, not alive. Fuck him. Yeah, yeah he's got a big know. nose. You know. <laughs> what was that? Nose. What was that? Your your hatred of the Jewish race coming out on the podcast? Yeah, so Can you calm wow. down with your anti-Semitism? Man. Canceled. Luked off Hitler. Canceled. All right, settle down, <laughs> buddy. So we already know you settle don't. We already know, we already know you're racist. Now you're fucking <laughs> yes. anti semitic, semitic too. Yeah. Come Jesus. on, dude. I'm just trying to check them off. Yeah, yeah, it's like if I'm gonna if go for one, it, might as well go for them. I think it's, I think I think it's National more. Women's Day. Do you want to yell at them for it a while? Is. It's the yeah, international. Boys, 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 we're all talking over each other. If somebody's talking, just be real present that the one person's talking, and then we all wait our turn. What? It's hard. There's five people in the room. I just want to sorry to derail what we're talking about. It's been a while since I was in kindergarten. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Anyways, huh? the, the Luke hates the Jews. Uh, so and it's International talking? Women's Day. Oh, yeah. yeah so yeah. if you want to bust on some women now. Yeah, man. Work harder. You, know, work you, might, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you might earn as much. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I was running off to the bathroom for your tampons. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I got I, I to gotta give birth. Uh, uh, maternity leave. Uh, <laughs> there's women who... There's women who squat in rice fields and have their baby and keep working that same day. Yeah, fucking, yeah take They're some giving notes birth from and Lindland, still just bro. fucking cutting rice down. Oh my god. All jokes. <laughs> Unless you talk to him off the podcast, then you realize that. Yeah, it's real. Not, it's very not jokes. And he's like, let me give you my manifesto. <laughs> Oh, dude. Diary he's reaching for it. Did you see? He said, "All oh, dude." He started checking wait, wait, his pockets. Wait. He's got something. He's like, "I'm gonna eat." Dude, he's got a little fucking red oh, page. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, right here, oh, he oh. says, "The Book of Luke." No. Here we go. Kill all Jews, right Kill there. Kill all Jews. It does. Top of the list. It does. It's right there. Oh my god. And he wrote it with dude. like he made all the letters out of swastikas. It's yeah, crazy. That's, wow. even weird. that's actually like Artistic. kind of talented. Even though I'm not about fascism at all, but <laughs> if you yeah. have enough time well, to. Do what, all your letters just, with swastikas? That's like just, I know, impressive. Right? Just it's like doing like, pointillism. Listen, remove, what? remove nice. all of W two. Remove it out of the picture, right? What? Then reconsider it. World you know, War Two. World, World War Two. Oh, so W just W W W two. Just, just I was like W two, like my tax reform. Yeah, 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 I was like, like what the you all knew what the fuck I no, was no, talking. I no one well, knew. We it's tax you had a room full of men confused, and everyone oh, had a what quite, the fuck oh, ever. We had to. It's tax season too, so we're yeah, gonna think yeah, about like, wait, yeah, is it the W two, the W four, the ten ninety eight? I'm not giving anybody my W two. Moving on. Pry it from my cold dead hand. Sorry. Okay, you say. 
if you remove World War Two out of the picture, then what? Then consider it. Oh, step all over the bit and then continue it? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Let me just kill your momentum and then keep it going. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> no, the bit's dead, bitch. Oh. Next topic, boys, let's go. I'm racist. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I'm Andy clip. fucks dogs. That's, and it's a clip. <laughs> Yeah, Any fucks dog. There's your sound bite. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Let's that's go. How you, that's how you go viral. Now you're gonna make it big. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know. let's talk about our guests. We've had you guys here for 24 minutes. Let's fucking get into it. Uh, 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 I have a bunch of stories for Jason, but uh, uh, a lot of Patreon stuff. Let's uh, let's tilt this towards Andrew a little bit. Oh, geez. Well, I know you said you didn't have a lot going on with nothing, but there's got to be something in the works. What have you guys been up to? I mean, we're working on. We started working on some new material. What is nothing for the people that don't know? Uh, it's uh, the band I play, and it's like. It's awesome. A black and death metal band. Yeah. Thank you. To the uh, mic. To the mic. Sorry. Black and death metal band. Um, My favorite local band, by the way. Appreciate that. Favorite local band. I love seeing you guys. I fucking love black metal. You guys embody like really a really good sound. I love you fucking guys a whole lot. All you guys are cool as shit, too. Sorry to interrupt you. No, That's you're like good. A um, plug for your band. But yeah, no, we, uh, we're we working on some new stuff. Um, put out a release at the end of 2019. We were starting to like, you know, we were hoping to tour in 2020. <laughs> Get some momentum on it, and then COVID nineteen yeah. happened, and we're like, okay, cool. All the momentum kind of dropped. Uh, other people in the band started working on stuff. Um, so yeah, we're, we're we're getting back together, doing that. Are you guys still about to get out there and do something? Do you have any shows planned? Anything uh, set up? We were supposed to go out and tour, but my furnace shit the bed, and I had to buy a new one. I so know. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah, the joys of owning a home when you're in a lot of debt with student loans and everything else. Anyway, uh, I I was like, we're going to cancel this tour. They got Agrigor, which is James and Corey's other band, mm -hmm. to fill in for us so they could keep doing it with Bloodgate. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, like we're just uh, waiting to see what pops up our way and we're working on new stuff. Is the basis for Bloodgate that that one lady, the Jesse, the, Jesse, yeah, she's Jesse very nice Jesse, person, Jesse yeah. Morrell, yeah, ran into her at we were doing a live show, a quaint volcano, the quaint volcano live show over at fucking uh, uh, yeah. Chameleon, and Will Finer and her showed up and was talking to her for a while. And she's like, "I'm the basis for Bloodgate," and I was like, "Oh, okay, it was fucking yeah. cool." She and I checked him out. And I was like, "You guys fucking rule." It's like, a weird thing to call you. <laughs> Happy Women's Weird Day. Weird name or sick name? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome so, to my blood gate. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Right. I mean, I'm still gonna do it, but I'm gonna be a little worried about it. Have you done your your puppet shit with him? Have you brought the? Uh... I think several times. Yeah, yeah, we did it in my basement. Yeah, the last time. Yeah, the last time. Uh, uh, you guys were my uh, thanks for nothing Thanksgiving special. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck you know. yes. Anybody pull their dick out? No, no Fuck one pulled the turkey? their dick out. No, I mean. Not while the camera was yeah. on. Yeah. No, when the say, camera was it? off, we were just all walking around with our dicks hanging I mean, out like, check this it was, shit out. It was gross. Did Luke at least <sighs> kick the door gross. in and start speaking it's German? Like vinegar. Yeah, he did. And then and then we all went to a concentration camp. And uh, yeah, he we, asked where Anne Frank was, and we're like, bro, that was like 70 years ago. Yeah, bro. They just pointed to the ashtray. He's not even here. I know you know where she is! I've been watching South Park reruns, and uh, do you remember when Kyle brought his cousin over? Oh, whatever, yeah. And uh, yeah. he paid car. He was like, I'm going to give you 20 bucks if you don't rip on my cousin, and his cousin's the lamest dude possible. And he's just like, oh, God, he just, I don't know what's going on. And it was like, hey, hey, can you concentrate a little bit? And fucking Eric finally cracks. And he was like, maybe they should send him to a concentration camp. And he's like, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> like, false face first on the desk. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So nothing going on with nothing right now. But Not really. Yeah, that it's... last release was fucking sick. Where the, where can they go and find you guys? Like uh, uh, Bandcamp, Spotify, Bandcamp, um, like pretty much anywhere that streams music. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys get. I hope you get the furnace situation and figured out. Super I mean, I got show. a new furnace. I just have to pay my parents back for it. But you know. well, I hope you guys get back out there and keep doing it because I genuinely love you guys as band and all you boys are yeah. cool as fuck. Like, and yeah, really absolutely. cute, like the cutest. Everybody except for James been on. We've had Corey and Zach and fucking. Uh, we haven't had James. Uh, we've yeah, had... but his feet smell right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, Corey's feet smell. Yeah, that's what yeah. I heard. Yeah. I, I, Corey I'm... looks like his feet smell. No, like we had, we had practice on <laughs> Sunday and like he's just like. Let's open up this door on this break. I gotta get my feet out of here. And they stink. And I'm just like, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm smelling. Oh, that's what that is. Corey showed up to the Quaint Volcano show also. And fucking Lloyd looked at me like, this is the guy that you're hanging out with. Because he showed up in like fucking 40 the degree weather. The deepest fucking v-neck I've ever seen. With a, <laughs> he had like a, a blazer that was turned into a vest over the top of it. And like cowboy shoes on. Yeah. Well, I, I was more looking at you like, all right, 
if I rip on this dude, or is everyone going to be upset? Or like, do I have to keep it cool? Yeah, 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 I wouldn't chill. have apparently cared because I didn't remember the guy. But like, I've I've met him. I did a whole episode with this guy. I yeah, shook, I know him. And then he was at the quaint volcano, and I was like, "Hey, man, thanks." Like he was saying, "Good set" and all that. I was like, "Thanks, man. Super nice to meet you." Like, what's your name? Like, <laughs> I reintroduced myself. <laughs> to this guy. Then I already man. I felt like such a piece of how, shit how, how much when everything do you connected. Smoke, man, my god, man. I, mean, I, 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 I didn't. I, why well, smoke? I did, did nothing up until after that. He probably like, didn't see yeah. that guy's face because of how ridiculous the deep V was. Right. I mean, like when I, I say deep V, I mean like fucking why not a writer at a fucking oh, like, award show? Oh like, wow, it was like down naval. Like, like yeah, like wow. if it had been me, you'd have saw the bottom like, or the top half of my gut before the fucking V ended. <laughs> it was. Wow. It's almost so like, a unitard, basically. <laughs> but, I mean, Corey does like to play shows and just basically he's like, I'm gonna just strip down to my speedo underwear, basically, and we're like. All right, that's cool, He's got man. a sick chest piece. Yeah. I would yeah. fucking rock his big ass. What, has he got a wolf on his chest or yeah. something like that? Yeah. I'd be rocking that, too, if I was manly enough to get my He's entire like, stomach ah. and chest tattooed. You best believe I'm wearing a fucking He still wants to speedo. get it filled in, too. Just yeah, I bet. Whenever that happens, it's like, well, that's going to take a while, and, and it's gonna you're going to go through a lot of pain. Hurt. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it looked like a beam a lot. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I just it, my my reaction wasn't more. It was it was more like, am I allowed to rip on this dude or not? Like <laughs> most yeah. of the time, if I'm looking at you, like he's cool. You'd have fun. With can you. I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Yeah, please, like, please. Well, I'm like because like a got, dog waiting for a treat. Yeah, they like the... started talking like old friends, and I'm sitting there the whole time. Like, it, you, have you ever seen like when you put a treat like on the dog's yeah, nose, and, and they're they, just like, like they're like, oh god, oh god. Mm, like just fucking white knuckling it until exactly you tell them they can have mean. it. I'm... That's what I felt like wanting to make fun of him. <clears throat> Not because he was like nothing bad. Just the outfit was. It's it goes back to Lloyd being a bully. It just did something. <laughs> yeah, that I'm Luke a fucking bully. Oh, now, okay, all right. Look, I've been in a situation similar to this. I was at a I was at a party with my ex wife, and we were at a wine and cheese party. And I'm over by the ashtray by myself smoking. She was like, wow, a Gruyere, and I punched her right in the face. Uh, no, no. women can't talk when I'm around. I'm sorry, no, go ahead. No, it was, okay, so I'm by myself, I'm talk just smoking, I'm, right, I'm not having a good time. And I'm just like, trying not to just start pounding wine and get drunk and fucking be mean. So I'm just smoking cigarettes and just keeping keep to myself. And these this group of people came over to smoke with me, and I'm like, ugh. And they're... I'm not really talking to him, but I'm, like, overhearing this conversation, and one of the women was like, So my doctor says that I have to get more protein in my diet, and, but I'm a vegan. Flick the ash in the ashtray, and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, Don't say suck a dick. Don't say suck a dick. Don't say suck a dick. Don't, don't. <laughs> He's sweating, rocking Fuck. back and forth in the don't chair. Don't say suck a dick. Semen has protein. Semen has protein. Semen has protein. <laughs> I just walked away. I, mean, you know, whole, I managed to keep it together, but yeah. I the just, whole like, drive home, he was just screaming out loud. Semen has protein. Semen has protein. I don't know. I feel, like going, I feel like going to a ball by yourself, <laughs> that's the perfect opportunity to just start burning bridges like that because you just walk out. Yeah, it's done. You never meet anyone. <laughs> yeah. Suck a dick. She starts. Oh, well, I'm gonna go to a new yeah, bar. Well, you know, I just well, trying to be nice. I, again, <laughs> I hear that. I hear that struggle, and I realize, like, oh, uh, a lot of times I just end up doing it, and then find out later that I did something horribly wrong. <laughs> sucking, so, sucking a dick. See, or, I used to. Oh, I, yeah, dude, above, what, sure. yeah, what if you said that, and she was just like, "Oh my god, that's so funny. I'm gonna suck that dick." <laughs> like, oh, hey, let me just like whip it out, young man. Just like, well, yeah, speak again, of the my, devil. my wife was like right over there so, at the time. So like, you said your ex-wife? Starts cheering yeah, you on. my ex-wife, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, more the merrier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought about this, but off uh, mics, this didn't happen on any of the times we had you on the show, but it should have. It was the funniest thing. You were like looking at me very seriously, and you're like, so how's uh, having kids going for you? And I was like, it's great. And you're like, uh, well, uh, you never thought about taking that receipt back to the store yet? <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I'm still fucking get. I think about that all the time. I just get weak about it. How genuine you were about it. Uh, like, this children is like, are gross. You know? Yeah, terrible. <laughs> Fact. Don't you have one of these things? I've, I've got two of them. I'm granddad. I'm a fucking granddad. That's why. I'm yeah. sure I will be soon. Mine's you know. 19 and in Florida. So it's gross, gonna... right? It's fucking gross. It's just it's coming like a you freight know. train. You know. <laughs> Pow, pow, like a no, no, it's not. All those Someone dudes is. inside of his daughter are. A bunch of Florida Puerto Ricans. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What wow. Up, well, at least they're the strong ones. They made the swim. Wow. The, Flo <laughs> the Florida Ricans. <laughs> they lost that tire in the swim. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> I'm racist. Uh, I'm just <laughs> oh my God. No, they just didn't. Please what... don't make this your thing on the show. And why did that evolve? You started it. You started it. Wow. You started it. wow. No, no, no. I'm uh, not racist. I promise. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. I, I love black I believe people. it. <laughs> <laughs> I said I love black people. I'm not yeah. Racist. Black History Month was a month, uh, a week uh, ago. It ended a week ago. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. So you, you missed your mark. You don't have to be nice to him. You don't have to be nice to, be nice to him anymore. Okay. Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my god. Oof. Thank god. No, <laughs> heavy heavy swings on this podcast. Yeah. I love yeah. it. The bar I uh, the bar I go to basically every day. It's my home away from home. Uh there's this black gentleman there, Ken, and uh throughout the whole month of February he'd come up to me and be like, Andrew, you know what month it is, right? And I'm like, Yeah, it's February. He's like Black History Month. And I'm like, Oh yeah, okay. And then this started happening every day. As we started getting further and further into the month, he's just like <clears throat> 10 more days like 10 more days until what and he's like until march 1st and i'm like oh, okay am i supposed to keep track of this now two days before march 1st i'm up there talking to him I'm like ken we got two more days man i'm gonna send you a text at midnight going into march 1st be like your time is up man and he's like <laughs> i'd really hope that you do he just I sends him the n-word on march 1st <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> every single midnight from that day until next February. <laughs> well, no. midnight is the darkest part of Black History Month. All right, yeah, was, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I know, but now, like, he, like I just, I liked how he was just joking about it. It was fun because he's like, yeah, after, uh, after tomorrow. Uh, I don't have anything to talk about anymore, and I'm like, damn, Ken, come on, really? Man. That's all you. So uh, one of the guys I work with, uh, Thomas. Tom is a big dude like me. What do you think Luke would think his name was? Darius. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is actually no, a thing Jamal. that happened on a show. It there happened was, once. There was a guy named Eric. And I thought and it was And he was Darius. like, what's his name, Jamal? We were like, you are the most fucking racist wow. person I've ever met. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> Tom is a, a, a big. A piece of I, shit, bet, I bet you, if you go back through all these podcasts, you could like do a greatest hit collect or greatest hits. It's usually um, me saying the most fucked up shit. It's weird that it's happening to Luke now. <laughs> but yeah, Tom is Tom is a racist <laughs> twice. Tom's a bigger dude like me. He likes food a lot. Uh, it it just out of a conversation, it became a joke. Now every February, he gets Black History Month desserts. Like there's two different people that work at the zoo that make him a dessert during black history month it just was a goofy conversation we're having and they're like following through on the joke which mm. is awesome but he's like i don't know i feel weird kind of like just they're giving me desserts just because it's black history month i was like no fuck that white guilt us into more desserts that's man. Let's, right <laughs> I was like, let's go around and fucking make this campaign <laughs> do we do this on the show i can't what see. is it this is uh brad calling me no. probably doing donuts smoking crack right now well let's let's talk to brad yeah, no that's not all right all right, no. all right, all right okay. okay they're saying no okay. good lord no, uh, no. Okay. I, it's pronounced lloyd I dude donuts and smoking crack and i'm like well i am a legitimate crazy to person to, as a kentucky so much i love as a kentucky and I'm, I'm i'm my interest is peaked okay yeah I'm just those are your say, national you know, pastimes. i mean as someone who grew up in alabama i'm 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 you with me? Yeah. I'm, I'm ca- no, I'm saying I'm kept out. Oh, okay, you done? You done? Okay. Right. Before we move I grew on up from it, cl- the closest thing that could be considered a business to where I grew up is East Alabama Motor Speedway. It's a clay track. Ooh, <clears throat> that's big doings on a Saturday night. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the grocery store is like 35 minutes away. Wow, that's a East Alabama Motor Speedway. Cross the street. Cross the street. Okay. So I'm good. Wow. Okay. All right. Neat. Thanks for sharing that. Lord. Yeah. So uh, at work <laughs> bef- uh, for Black History Month, they had a, a bunch of pictures of like just famous black people, you know. But it it's not like like famous inventors or like liter like writers or anything. It's Obama, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. And Obama's wife. I mean, Michelle Obama. Okay. And, <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least you caught yourself there. <laughs> Fucking clam trying to get in on his fame. And so, <laughs> Mac Miller. And so, guess what they Machine had? Machine Kelly. Guess, uh, like, for real, try to guess what they had for the, the free food for Black History Month. Chocolate <laughs> donuts. I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't want to say this, but it's too chicken. funny. It's What's, fried chicken. <laughs> fried fried uh, chicken. Got one. Collard greens. Got two. Please watermelon. not watermelon. Please don't say it's bananas and watermelon. Got mac and cheese. Mac got four. Oh, was there five? There was, there was one more. Uh, and that, that col- one can col- go for col- any greens. party. Baked col- beans? No, it was it was White rolls. baby hearts? It was rolls. 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 Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. 
But it, yeah, well, it, it was all of that. Cornbread. Wow. For black hit, not like cornbread. any like. <laughs> ab- stop doing this. Not not like any like <laughs> real African like <laughs> meals or anything or dishes. It's like it's a, like for real. The the last break of the day, watermelon. All of it before that, chicken. Oh my god. Chicken, collard greens, <laughs> fucking I, rolls. I, lo- I love. I haven't been I, uncomfortable on my own show in so long. Yeah, this. Is I love we've watching been doing Cody too much of this. It back. Like, <laughs> oh, we need to get somewhere else. I'm like, why am I the one that's like, I gotta dial this back? This like, reminds me, like, remember that story I told about the bachelor party where we like. We're like uh, a, two states away by the time someone goes, I think we've gone off the rails. And it was me who said it, and everybody's like, oh, fuck, Lloyd said that. So Cody trying to peel us back from racist shit, it feels very much like that moment where I'm like, I think we've gone off the rails. And everybody's like sobering up, like, oh, shit, we got to fix this. Yeah. Yeah. Next week, we're going to have seven black guests. I, I, yeah, we have yeah. to overcorrect for this. And they're just going to whip us and fucking piss on our girl. Oh, dude, I got the guy. I got the guy just for you to do that. <laughs> yeah. He will make you feel bad about being white. It's what do you think great. that Luke thinks his name is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To Draymond Sean, Green. To Sean or some shit. Right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. What an asshole. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. okay. That you is deserve, very, you, need, that's to hang, you need to hang out with this dude then. I that's, think. Luke, seriously, that's genuinely fucked up that they did that. Why the fuck yeah. is that like. Who planned this? Please tell it, me. A, at least some white lady who got a fucking PR degree. <laughs> yes. She looked hot in the interview, so someone hired her, and they're like, "Yeah, you just make everyone happy and do whatever." And she works there and gets paid because everybody likes watching her bend over at the office. <laughs> I'm trying to make it happy, real. Happy, happy National, National, National Women's Day. That's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's what I'm going for. And I was like, someone's gonna not get what I'm doing. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was wow. just trying to make it a. a Women's Day joke. Uh, in honor of uh, National Women's Day, uh, Jason, you ever rape anybody? No, no, I haven't. The, that no, was ex- have actually that was the perfect amount of time in between I that question not. and your response. No. It was. You, I didn't wait, even like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, he's like define uh, rape. <laughs> no, define no. maybe, body. maybe, maybe in some states. I don't know. Whatever. He's like, know. Define <laughs> body. age of consent. Not Anybody. the same everywhere. That's so. right. That's right. <laughs> Uh, I, we're gonna get into more I was of this with on Pauly the Pauly Shore in the, at the MTV beach house banging out, you know, <laughs> juice boxes. Bad yeah. baby, wheezing Ju- juice boxes. Wheezing the juice boxes. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get into some of this on the Patreon because we're running out of time on the free show. But I want to talk about your Hollywood experience if we can. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is a long time ago now for you uh, in internet years, right? It's that a was couple 10, months ago. Ten thousand years ago. Yes. Ten million thousand years ago, right? But uh, talk about that. Yeah, you you seem like you had a lot of fun. You met some interesting people. I Just did. Um, Break it down. Why'd you go out there? What the fuck happened? Well, Let's go. Uh, my friend, my friends from uh, my friend Bill Manspeaker from Green Jello is since he hasn't toured because of COVID, he started broadcasting a television show out of his Hollywood loft on Hollywood, East Hollywood Boulevard, and he'd been doing it uh, actually about a year now. And a couple of months ago, he was he's been keep asking me. He was actually wanting me to move out there. He's was like, he the skateboard dude with all the, the tattoos and the beard or whatever? I, I'd seen you post a bunch of these pictures I'd or whatever. The fuck now. Well, it was somebody talking about being from Green Jello or whatever the fuck. Uh, Some old there's, punker there's, skateboarder. There's, tattoos. All right, you know what? Terrible question. I'm a I'm supposed to be a professional <laughs> podcast host. Right. But what a shitty ass fucking you're, question. You're fucking fired. You're done. <laughs> Um, was it was it was it the black metal guy that was wearing black clothes? <laughs> with like, <laughs> really oh, spikes and chains. Wait, I mean, hey, you came in with danger sparkles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm pointy. Um, so anyway, we he wanted me to move out there, and there was I was just like, no, I'm not, I'm not fucking moving to Hollywood. But I did go out to visit because I'd never been. So I go out there uh, with my friend Lazy D, and we're both in this green jello. Do you know of Lazy course, D that's his fucking Lazy name. D. You Lazy have, D, your yeah. friends have the sweetest nicknames, right? My, Listen, my Lazy, si- Lazy D sounds like somebody like giving a confessional on like the Blue Chew message board. <laughs> <laughs> they're all of his friends are like the the seven dwarves from, but they're all yeah, I got all punk kind of, versions. Yeah, they're punk. I like my, Dude, my sound man. My sound man is crusty. This is heroin. I now. never got any cool nicknames. I got cinnamon sprinkles, and then like th- my ra- whole racist. life was like anything that involved fiery genitals and, and, and racist. Hitler Jr. None, none of yeah, and races. Uh, yeah, none of those are none of those are good looks. They're not good looks. They're not good looks. Um, I find that people you can't actually pick oh. your own nickname. You, no, dude, you, you look like a total yeah, 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 That's your assign. That someone puts that on you. Yeah, man. So that's a, I love when like fighters come out and people are like, "What the fuck is with that nickname?" 
Like, why would that guy call himself that? And I'm like, it's not him. Yeah, nobody calls it. He doesn't call himself that. But also, why does he allow someone to call he, him well, that? Well, that's what I'm saying. In that world, you don't get, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. If I would have came up with my friends with a nickname, I'd be like, I'm Cobra. They'd be like, you're a faggot is what you are. <laughs> faggot is they your name. They'd start calling you banana Dumbass. pudding. <laughs> like Cody banana pudding <laughs> hooker. <Moron>. Shut up, <laughs> Shut up, Prince of All Saints. That's why I get chody fucker. <laughs> That's what you gave me. You gave me Prince of Prince All Saints. I hate how fucking real it is. I mean, like, YouTube listeners. When I was in, uh, he's yeah, always dude. saying too, dog. When I was in high school, I went to Moeller, you know, all boy Catholic high school. They Sexy. figured out what my uh, hard already. what Sexy. my middle name is, and my last name's Yankoski. My middle name is Richard, so they're just like, oh, dude, Dick <laughs> oh. Yank, and I'm like, wow, real good yeah, job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I've been it. prepped for this since, yeah. like, middle school. Yeah. I didn't know that, but, <laughs> do you know. Pe- do people okay. the- I'm not going to, I'm not going to exploit that. No, I mean, that seems, that seems like low-hanging fruit. I don't I can, care. Yeah, yes. like, you know. like, as low as my dick hangs. Oh, ho, ho, nice. And then you can yank on it. And then it. I can yank on it. Oh. Yes. I, I, I don't Wait. know why this just made me think of it, but. Someone made, tried to make fun of like my initials one time, and it was the dumbest thing I've ever Wait, heard. What are your so initials? Was, LDJ. <clears throat> was it a Lyndon B. Johnson joke? No, this guy was like, "It sounds like you're a Mexican DJ." And there's like ten people in the room, and everybody just stops and stares at him, like, <laughs> just like "What the fuck are you talking what about?" From the sheer talking brilliance about? of that. Says, L DJ, L DJ, a Mexican DJ, and everybody's just like, "Yeah, no, we got it." And yeah. Did they slowly start clapping? <laughs> No, one at a time before the entire room was an uproar. That was actually brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> like that wolf on Wall Street scene. That joke rules. <laughs> Fuck that whole room of people. I love that no. joke. For real. <laughs> well, E-L- yeah. I should, it, I, I, I'd be the one who was that whole clever. crew. I'm sorry. It, it came Weak. off a bunch of people making like good jokes about each other's names. <laughs> And then he just threw that into the mix. And, it was just like, and they didn't like how good it was it. compared to yeah, everybody it just, else. It just, just stopped the momentum. Like, all of them were like... Dirty, raunchy, weird. Right. And then his just came out like <laughs> the Mexican DJ. No. Okay. Fuck off with See, you. you. Get that out of feeling here. everyone just had right yeah, there when yeah, I did that. Yeah. That's how it okay. played in the room. All right. All right. We de- we we railroaded a story for all these that's jokes. That's okay. You and Lazy D. You Me and Lazy, Lazy D. D went to uh, Hollywood. Um, that sounds like a movie. It, it does. It, it, it was the buddy film of the summer. Lazy uh, D goes to Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> Me and Lazy D. Me and Lazy D. Satan and Lazy D. Um. We get on the plane, um, get out to uh, – to, we land in Burbank, and we get there. It's about 1230 in the afternoon, and they're like, uh, good afternoon. Welcome to Burbank uh, Airport, blah, blah, blah. This is – the temperature is 80-something degrees. Uh, local things uh, around the town. Talking a little bit about, you know, what around the city and stuff like that. And NFL, you're here to buy cocaine. They're putting fentanyl in it, so watch your back. They said that? No, the they thing? didn't, but practically everybody – as soon as I got – Anywhere somebody was like, at least twice in an encounter. Hey, don't don't if you're here to buy cocaine, don't don't buy any cocaine because they're putting fentanyl on the cocaine. Dude, you oh, know shit. how rampant cocaine usage is. In, I'm saying in Los Angeles. I, I'm it's calling. Like I'm calling bullshit. Randoms bullshit. at gas stations. I didn't see. Like, hey, dude, just in case you're looking to do some bumps while you're in town. Almost everything is laced with fentanyl. Yeah. Was I, it the, I, I, were you talking to the dog from the Dare commercials in the 90s? I mean... By the way... McGruff. By the way, yeah, yeah, McGruff, yeah. McGruff the crime dog. Hey, talking to McGruff, you're here, you know, if big you're here ass to buy cocaine. Hey, here to buy cocaine. So a friend of mine, his, uh, his family owns a bunch of houses. All right, we have to. He's, he's, on, sorry. he's doing we it We don't again. have to shit. We really don't. All right, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> but he, was sh- he sent me pictures from a gas station where they have fentanyl test strips. Oh, wow. At the gas station where you can just buy them or some places are giving away for free. That's how mm-hmm. yeah. bad it was it's out crazy. in East L.A. Because yeah. his, his uh, grandparents went, moved out there and bought a bunch of shit. And then they died. Now, they own all these houses out there and everyone lives in Ohio. <laughs> what? Wow. So, yeah. They own all these, like, slumlord houses in East L.A. Wow. Hey, let me get a slumlord house, dude. <laughs> All right, you don't want to live in you don't want to live in California. Either. So they tell you that, and you we're, immediately we're, go buy a satchel we, of cocaine because yeah, well, you we, know it's going to be so pure. And first good. thing we did. No, actually, uh, I really did you get to do blowing? We, no, out? no, I didn't run into anybody. I don't like. I didn't That's see illegal. any good bands. No one does that. I know. I'm. I, I'm I've, I've already written. A, I've already written a letter to the governor, and he's going to be sending me a bump of cocaine in any fucking time now. He's like, this is the good shit. Yeah, no the, fentanyl. No, nothing this from my personal. It's not stepped on. You know, it's not stepped on. You know, so. um we get there. Uh, we get there Thursday afternoon. We're hanging out, just bullshitting, and we're gonna hang out and do two shows because he broadcast every Saturday. The Green Jello, Green Jello Vision, a Green Jello, or what? WTF.com. You can find that there every Saturday. 
Uh, okay. Seven o'clock, uh, California time, West Coast. Um, four p.m. Four p.m. Yeah. Uh, so we we're hanging out and having a good time, and then uh, Saturday uh, we do the show. We're hanging out, and it's fun, you know. And uh, my friend Lazy's like, "Dude, my chest hurts, man. I'm not feeling good, man. You you take a, We were staying at a at a, a buddy of ours' apartment across the street." So he's like, will you take this stuff up to the apartment? And I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. I fucking took all the stuff upstairs, you know, I'm hanging out. A kilo of heroin? No, it wasn't heroin. We, dude, I, we Fat did yellow. not, there were, no hookers or cocaine were involved with this story that I'm about to tell you. Damn. We, I know, right? I'm, You're still I'm married. This fucking, no, no I, no, I wasn't, actually. I wasn't. Um, that was even, that's what's even more depressing. Uh, I, I mean, I was ready to party. Anyway, um. He comes in, and he's like, man, my fucking chest is killing me. My chest is killing me. He fucking lays down, and I'm like, hey, you fat shit. He, he doesn't eat very well. Hey, you fat shit. Yeah, he doesn't eat very well, you know, and just doesn't, you So know, he died he, on the couch, is what you're saying. He practically died in front of me. You want now. me to get you a butter popsicle stick, you yeah, fat fuck? Yeah, you know, I was like, hey, you just got indigestion, you bet fat. Oh, yeah, I, felt, I has, felt my blood move. I think my blood, I think my blood. <laughs> and he was like, no, man, this really hurts. This really hurts. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, um, and I was like, look. I'm going to go down to the corner store. I'm going to get you some Zantac and fucking gas X or some shit, you know, because that's probably what it is. You know, no, man, this feels different. This feels different. And um, I'm on my way back, and uh, the dude whose apartment we were staying in calls me. And he's like, yeah, they're lazy's down in Bill's car, Bill Manspeaker's car, and they're going to the hospital. So I fucking run back, and he's still there, and he's just, like, clutching his fucking chest. And I'm thinking, fuck, man, my dude is about to die in front of me. And if he, if the, if the hat, if the, um, if the hospital wasn't about two minutes away, he probably would have been dead. Oh, His, wow. What, what was the problem? He had a heart attack. Were oh, you, wow. He yeah, had, really, had a major heart attack. fucking heart Were you attack. mad that the hospital was so close so you didn't have a better story? No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, man, you you know my story, and I, I don't sorry. I don't want to watch any, any more of my fucking be a part of any more of my friends dying. Just so, jokes. Just jokes. Um, no, uh, I was fucking. It was Lord terrible. Lord knows I do ever since joining this podcast. War. It was terrible. Uh, but they, he basically his lower artery, lower uh, or lower descending art or ascending artery, uh, was one hundred percent blocked. Just butter and oh. cheese in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And stress because he's stressed out. He's highly. He's high strung. And like literally, they called that the. How old is the, he? Forty. Ooh, that's a fucking uh, yeah. Scary. I'm forty. I'm watching this. <laughs> yeah. di- I'm wa- You're fucking I'm, eight days away I'm from fucking, forty. I'm forty nine, dude. I'm watching my friend fucking die, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, is this a? You know, it was it was pretty scary, but he's okay. He's all right now. Um, he had a blood clot. And his fucking, D is still real lazy. Yeah. So it's good. We had a good. Uh, you know. So bad start after that though. How do we get to Andy Dick? How does um, this happen? The next. Well, that was that night. Oh, sorry to that not was, bury the that's lead. Okay. That so. Andy Dick shows up. Just shows well, up. He's at the apartment. Heard your friends had a uh, heart attack. No, this was uh, before at all At what that. time? Check my watch. His dick <laughs> strung over his wrist. He, uh, if that was actually before all that It's a thing Andy Dick happened. used to do, sorry. Sorry, um, I didn't know that. He, he just shows up, and, um, while the show, while the Green Jello show is being broadcast, and he just occasionally does that. He'll just show up out of the blue and be like, hey, what's going on? I'm Andy Dick, and he just... Hangs out. And, I'm just here trying to stay relevant. Yeah, pretty much. Who and, doesn't hate uh, me? Or, or actually to get free cocaine because uh, apparently when he got there, he's just like – he sits on the couch outside and I'm watching him and he's just like – he's talking to his friends. And he's like, I have no energy and this is – I can't perform with such low energy in that room and this and that. And I'm like, no, motherfucker. You just need some cocaine. Yeah. Because, you know. Is that how you initiated the conversation? No, no. Pop actually, in he arm. started like, hey. Be happy you have low energy because you could have had fentanyl. You could have had fentanyl <laughs> and no energy. Well, McGuff told me. Um, actually, that had happened to him uh, a weekend, the weekend prior. Nice. They had to Narcan him back to life. <laughs> nice. And I also found out that Andy Dick. Yeah. Oh yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. He he he's wild. Andy Dick parties. Oh, that I dude know. Parties. It sounds like a very Andy Dick fucking. He, story. And apparently everybody that I met in Hollywood was like, "Oh, you got an Andy Dick story too? Welcome to Hollywood, dude. Everybody met. Everybody's mad saying, you, Oh, you got your card. At, yeah. Yeah. yeah like, you got an Andy Dick like, story. Now his, you got your card. Yeah. yeah you're you're Welcome officially. To LA. Welcome here's to Hollywood. Here's your weed card. Here's your Andy Dick yeah, story. Yeah. Here's an Andy Dick story. <laughs> here's fentanyl and cocaine. Have fun. I'm hanging out. So he he uh. He, like, looks over at me, and I've got the puppet on, and uh, he's like, 
excuse me, can 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 I talk to the puppet? You know, like looks right. at me, ask to speak to the puppet. Now wait, are you toting this puppet around? Yeah, I've got the puppet out. Can you I'm just took him to the bar. Like, oh, no, we were, we, were, into his puppet we were we were hanging out in front of the Green Jello spot. Oh, okay. okay. For anyone listening who doesn't know, like, can you explain why you have a puppet? I, I my name is Jason. I do the Super Satan Show, and basically, what the Super Satan Show is is uh, Wayne's World with a Satan puppet. Wait, it's a puppet. I've been on that show three times. I know, I know. I, it's that's because that was I'm the real. It, it is, it is, it is. Okay, it, it is. I'm sorry. It's okay. It is. I based half my life around that. Afterwards, <laughs> I named my cat Lucifer for Aww, God's sake. Aww. I mean, for furnace Satan's went out because he thought sake. the puppet was going to show up and heat the house up. Yeah, well, you know. Sorry. <clears throat> Wait till he sees a real doll. It's going to fuck his whole life up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a real so a real doll. A real. Do- <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've been to court before. Have you thought about that? <laughs> I've had to touch that doll. <laughs> I could guess. <laughs> it would be hilarious if they used Catholic a real school. doll and been yeah. rape court. You said right. Mueller. I was already... <laughs> Show me on the rape court. Show... Where you got touched, just giant <laughs> anime tits on it. It's like, that's where I touched it. <laughs> it's like, show me on the doll where you got touched. Let's show me where you stop. Went. Why is his ankles Let's behind his ears? Oh, yeah, sorry. The judge is like, I was using it. Uh, you know. stop squeezing? <laughs> will you stop squeezing your breast and point to where you're touched? Yeah, yeah. So um, Andy Dick asked me to to talk to the puppet. So I take the puppet up to him, and he looks. He I, suddenly I've stopped existing, and he looks dead at the puppet, and he goes, "Excuse me, do you have any cocaine?" <laughs> and I went, "Is this before you started recording?" Uh, somebody else actually was filming. Okay, so yeah. is that in the recording? Uh, yeah, yeah. I so, saw it, but I, I couldn't remember yeah. exactly what happened. He asked me if there, it was like, he was like, "Do you have any cocaine?" And I went. And and I talked to him with the puppet, and I was like, no, sorry, Andy, I don't. And he was like, fuck you, you're not the real Satan. The real Satan would have cocaine, blah, blah. And I was like, you know, and it, the joke didn't come to me at, in time, but I was like, I should have just said, well, welcome to hell, Andy. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> welcome to hell. This is your own Ride the butt hell. stuff machine. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you you get the fast pass. Um, and uh, But later on, he's hanging out, and he fucking looks at me again and he pats this fu- he, there's like a futon couch that like they set out on the out on the in front of the building and like we're just hanging out on the sidewalk on Hollywood Boulevard and Andy Dick's sitting there and he's like he looks at me and he fucking pats the the space next to him on the couch and he goes come sit next to me puppet <laughs> and I'm like oh. <laughs> now that's hard to do okay I've, I've seen some shit I've, I've seen some gross shit done some gross shit you know Hell yeah. The last time you were on, you were talking about how there was a guy in your fucking living space that had a tire filled with shit and piss. Yeah, that was wearing it into a living space. So yeah, yeah. I, I feel like yeah. if you say you, a tire, yeah, a tire that had been filled up with shit and piss. And the you, have you been to Krusty's? You've been to Krusty's. Yeah, yeah so I mean, I've been to Whitley. Out, yeah. out back, yeah, he's got the fucking backyard and a mm-hmm. bunch of crust punks are shitting and pissing in the yard. And this tire's filled up with sludge it's not, and okay. death. It's and not, he goes and shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're not shitting. Yeah, they're shitting. They I mean, are. I've done my fair pair, like fair share of pissing and throwing up back there. Yeah, when we did. All right, uh, sorry, throw up and piss. I got, I got video. I, I got so video. He's, off, he's got video of me throwing yeah, up I, on camera. On camera, I got video. Man. Wow, impressive. Did yeah. you throw up? That's he crazy. did. Yeah. We were playing drunk rock star. Trio. We were we were playing we were playing who's the smartest drunk rocker. It was me. But I had to. You I, threw up. You I lose. Threw up. Yeah, you no, lose. I got. If you lose. I got two questions in a row. Like, yeah, he was. Lo- he was looking good. And then, like, but we had to take three shots of Captain going into this. Mm-hmm. That's I how Roy wakes like, up in the morning before he goes. You'd to work. have been fine. You'd have been like, <laughs> okay, all right. He can't start a car without that. The breathalyzer doesn't work. And <laughs> I'd been drinking before I got there. Do the three shots of Captain, and then the other rule is when you get a answer right, you had to take another shot. You get a shot. So the first question that I got right was like. A geometry question right and i'm just like oh dude i've got this shit fucking chemistry degree i've done math geometry i know this i'm like yeah. fucking whatever this is and then it was like a lord of the rings question i'm just like got this too and then i take the next shot and then i go <laughs> just right there nice and i was like disqualified you're <laughs> out of here <laughs> and then I had to play a set like 40 minutes after that. <laughs> I didn't know you had a chemistry degree. I've been watching oh, yeah, a bunch of chemistry super... videos. I have these questions for you, but we're at uh, 58 minutes. If you guys want to keep listening to Andrew and uh, uh, Jason on uh, our podcast, go and check out patreon.com slash the bastard sermon. $5 for all of our content. Uh, bonus episodes <laughs> every week that you can't get without it. 
and you'll get the free episode a day early. Plus, we're doing full video for the Patreon and for the free episodes as well as all of our side podcasts. We just did Mother on Bastard LLC. It's a good fucking time. Go and check it out. Luke. And Luke's new podcast coming out, Mind Comfy. <laughs> my, my comfy that was couch. That so good. <laughs> my comfy uh, for couch. Your, for the banging <laughs> read, I got to pull up something on Discord, but go ahead for the Scarlet one real yeah. fast. For my what? For the banging read, I have stuff that we're going to read from a listener that actually... Uh, go ahead. For the banging snacks read. Yeah, 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 just go for the... Uh, you know, the... Go for the gusto. The gold. All right. Go for gold. <clears throat> if you, like me, like to blow down some serious trees... Some serious white... <laughs> So, from Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10, all that Delta stuff, you should head on over to Scarlet Vape and Smoke Shop to get all of it. Whether it's uh, some smokage, or uh, some kratom, or maybe some equipment to do that smoking. Some water bongs, or water pipes. Yeah, you can't say that B word. Yes, I can. I Bong! Just... <laughs> or you can uh, get yourself some nice grab bowls, uh, vaporizers, cones, they've got it all. For a reasonable price, too. Can we get weed? You can get Delta 10, Delta 8 nugs, and cards. So probably. <laughs> if I ask nicely. <clears throat> if you know the right way to ask, yeah. If you know how to ask, just ask them, and they will give you a 15% off if you let them know you're a bastard. Fantastic. Oh, wow. And they have one of two locations. I think they'll figure that out just by talking to me. One at 937 Mama Street, Newport, Kentucky, 41071. And the other one is at 11424 Montgomery Road, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45249. And... Again, let them know you're a bastard, and you'll get 15% off your entire order. Ching! Beautiful. Uh, do a very quick, abbreviated version of the next one, because we have so much to cover on this ad read. We had a, a, Are we about to read all the reviews from that dude? I would say all of them. No, no I was going to say, I don't think them. we need to eat a, read all, because like, we did one, but... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, go on over to bangandsnacks.net. Some dope-ass stuff. <clears throat> The, the dopest. I actually have a box that I'm bringing in for the Patreon episode for the boys. He's calling it, it is his mom. a huge, huge Here order. We uh, and we've got it all. From uh, uh, the I fried bought. crab to these brand new prawn snacks, we've I'm got... Old. Keep reading. You're a professional. I, people are talking in the mic in my earphones. It's I hard to concentrate. That was Lloyd. Prawn. Don't look at me. Prawn. All right. Well, people shut the fuck up during reads. I read. didn't say We're anything. Getting... Okay. <clears throat> so, if you want to head on over to bangandsnacks.net and use but <laughs> go ahead with your reviews. It's my oh, he's done. Come on. He's done now. Come on. Well, you gotta go get the box. Stop. Come on. <laughs> Can I do the read? Yes. Come yes. on. Right, everyone Jesus. shut up. Okay, so uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff uh, that we're going to review on the Patreon episode that you guys should check out in this new box. Uh, they've got a whole so sh assortment of new shit. Wait, we got, got the box? Yeah, we got the box. It'll be for the Patreon episode. Yo, yes! Yeah, so we've got three Fanta uh, yogurt rush drinks from Japan, dude. We've Fuck got that. a whole bunch oh, of crazy God, shit. Yes. We've got Oreo Choco brownies from Belgium. We got Kit Kat Golds from the UK. We got uh, Lay's. Did you know Lay's bought out this other brand in England called Walker's? And they kept the name around so the UK people could remember the friendly face and name that they all love. And they've got a whole bunch of crazy flavors. We're about to try some stuff from China. The squid chips again. The Lay's cucumber. Bugles spicy chicken. Mm. Skittles sponge flour and fruit flavor. It's going to be wild. Okay? Uh, and flour. if you want to try all of these crazy snacks that you can't get in the U.S., but you can find all over around the world, you should head on over to bangandsnacks.net and use promo code BASTARD or BASTARDS and get 15% off your entire order. We're going to read all of Steve's stuff on the Patreon. Not all of it, some of it. Uh, if you guys want to go and check out uh, Jason's shit, it's Super Satan Show on Facebook. I'm sure uh, are you guys still doing the Patreon? Yeah, actually. Uh, go to patreon.com, Super Satan Show. For just $3 a month, you can help the suffering <laughs> for li for the price of a less than a pack of cigarettes for most packs of cigarettes you could get the bastard turns and super satan's patreon a month and i know you fuckers smoke more and drink more and put more up your nose than that so fucking goddamn come on support your locals but, or not it's fine we got free shows he's got free content he's always doing cool shit he's yeah. always doing facebook live videos with bands every week he's been nothing but supportive whittlers on the eights uh, hit him up for fucking april local 1st shows. whittler on the eights April Fool's Day show. Is that a joke? No, really, we do. Oh, okay. We are having a show. Go we and have, check it out. We have Kid Rock, we have Ugly Kid Joe, Slayer, and uh, Quiet Riot. <clears throat> it's going to be a good fucking time. I've, I haven't I been out there in a Joe long time. but Seven. 
Wow. Well, well, you can come down and see them in the in my basement. I heard uh, April Sting's 1st. gonna be there too. But no, 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 not fuck them. Not fuck them. They're at a gas station with my biscuit. Yeah, it's true. Is no, that that's, that's, that's on 420. Really that's on 420. Your house? Sinoco up in Dayton. Yeah. Come and find out. Friend of mine. <laughs> Righteous. <laughs> Please, everybody, go and support Super Satan Show. And everybody, go and give Nithing a like. Follow them on whatever they're available on. Go and check out their Spotify. Buy their album. I don't know if it's... Bandcamp. It, go to Bandcamp. Buy yeah, the record. We got, it, like, Bandcamp. Fucking, we'll send you a physical album if you want to buy that. Um, it's a great yeah. band. I've had nothing but fun every time that I've seen you guys play. You guys fucking bring the energy. And, and you guys fucking cute. crush it. And tasty you. licks, dude. Mm -hmm. And Corey Fruity. being a Fruity speedo. Licks. I you, like a tasty lick. Oh. Know. Who does Fruity is tasty. Yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah. It's synonymous. Yeah, it also, is. check out Fuck You, We Like the Bengals. Uh, we do a, <clears throat> every week during the season, we roast the other team. It's a fun podcast. Uh, we're going to do some off-season ones, but they're not <clears throat> they're not every week. So, But, yeah, check that out. We got some fun stuff coming up. We love you guys. Check out the Patreon. Uh, or not. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 Patrick Seda, Dark Mountain Cold. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Patrick Seda, the former host of The Bastard Sermon, does Dark Mountain Cold on Instagram. He's always putting out fucking amazing uh, I uh, love designs. you, Patrick. Pat's the best fucking dude. I love having him on the show whenever he comes back as a guest now. Kind of weird, but a lot of fun. Always doing fucking really interesting stuff. And now he's partnered up with uh, uh, wraps for game consoles for your PS5 or your Xbox, whatever the fuck it's called now. Uh, you get a nice custom Patrick Seda design wrap. He's got like Master Chief designs and all that nice. cool shit. And uh, for you dab smokers out there, uh, these little fucking like dab mats where I, I, I don't understand the concept really, but I'm either, not but... a weed guy. I'm not a, a dabs guy. I'm not a Delta 8 guy. Right, so but I guess it's like a mat with his fucking artwork and shit. Roll your weed up on it, fucking do your dabs on it. It's cool as fuck. We love you, Pat. Go and support Dark Mountain Cold on Instagram yep. and wherever you can get a shit. All right, now Patreon. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, yeah. Thank you.